Hi, I'm Mark Lewis, the VP of Application Services at Canonical. I look after all of our ISV and IHV partners. I'm here at the AWS DC Summit with Sarah from Launch Darkly. Sarah, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. I'm Sarah Mazur. I am the government CTO of Launch Darkly. I've been with the company four years and I support all of our government customers. Fantastic. Can you tell me a little bit about Launch Darkly for folks who might not be aware of what you do? Sure. We're a feature management platform company that enables people to release software safely and consistently, roll back when issues occur, and then also adopt a culture of experimentation with A-B testing. Wonderful. And we were able to help you with your FedRAM journey. Yes, you did. In fact, uh, you know, we've been using Ubuntu since the beginning. We knew that as part of FedRAMP authorization that we would need FIPS compliance. And we were very happy to see that Canonical offered that Ubuntu Pro FIPS module that we could just use for our federal instance. We loved it so much that we are also using it for our commercial instance as well. That's fantastic. So you're able to offer that government grade assurance to all your customers. Absolutely. There's a lot of regulations and auditing that goes into supporting government customers and being FedRAMP authorized, but everybody really benefits. So we have multiple instances, some for our federal clients, some for commercial, but we decided to use both. Uh, the, you know, both instances are using the Canonical's FIPS version of Ubuntu. One of the cool things is that you are in the marketplace. And so as we grow as a company and need to spin up new instances, it's easy for us just to pull the right version, the FIPS compliant version of Ubuntu as we need new instances. And so we just use Amazon Marketplace to do that for our own tools. It's great to hear because that's such an efficient way for people to consume and also enables you to grow as you need um, and only, only spend the money that you require to spend, which is wonderful. What topics are you hearing from your, your federal customers today? Our federal customers are really looking at zero trust and meeting security initiatives, as well as AI. Those are two very hot topics these days. Yeah, I'm speaking on future management in AI at the Amazon yeah. conference tomorrow. And so people will learn about future flagging and we have special AI flag types. So that's pretty exciting. But you can also use future management for zero trust initiatives as well. So if you think about the least privileged access, you can use granular targeting of features to target individuals and not provide features to everybody. And also if there's a breach or some security incident, then you can turn off a feature right away in 200 milliseconds or less. Fantastic. So I'm super interested to hear how your technology interacts with AI, because one of the, the bigger topics at the moment is control of models, control of data, mm -hmm. etc. Is that something that you folks are targeting? You, you seem a, a, a good market fit, but we'd love to hear some of the details. Yeah, so we have AI flag types, and that means that you have the ability to change your models or your prompts easily and on the fly in real time. So a feature doesn't have to be just turning something on or off. It can be JSON as an example. And so the JSON could be your model configuration settings. It could also be the different prompts that you want to use. And then you could target individual users of your application to get different models or prompts. So if you're a knowledge worker, you might see one model or prompt if you're in a beta program and you want to see the latest and greatest model but not expose those to all of your users, you can use LaunchDarkly to switch between models and also do that granular targeting. That's tremendous because there, there are two use cases you're covering off there. One is the permissions within the organization. Right. And then the second is the fact that so often AI spans multiple organizations. And so you're ensuring that the right people see the right models and data depending on their own responsibilities and in fact their organizations. Right, because personas actually add a lot of complexity mm. to an AI application because a knowledge worker is different than a coder who is different than a data scientist. They're going to need different configuration settings, different prompts to get the best value out of the application. If you custom code applications for every persona, it's going to create it's so much technical debt. So you can just use feature management to make those changes on the fly in real time, swap between the two or add a different variation and you're ready to go. You don't have to do any new deployments. 
I think with Launch Darkly, we recognize that supporting the public sector is important, not only to support their missions, but from a company perspective, right? So if you do business with the government, it's really hard. There's a lot of regulations that you have to comply with, but it eases the lumpiness out of like a revenue stream for a startup, or it helps with um, facing the volatility of the general economy. And so government is a good thing to get involved with. And the point of FedRAMP is not necessarily making a more secure product because the products are equally secure, whether it's a commercial instance or the federal instance. Our security teams and our product teams do a really good job of keeping data safe. With FedRAMP, you have additional regulations, additional auditing, more mature security processes and controls and documentation. And so everybody does benefit. And when people benefit, then we can take what we've learned on the federal instance through these processes and put that over into our commercial instance. So getting back to Canonical's application and your, your, the software that you provide, we took that FIPS requirement that we needed for our federal instance and actually just put that in our commercial instance as well. That's great. So all customers benefit from that that level of accreditation at the same time. As you say, it's 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 a great security posture, but it also helps with regulation and 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 sovereignty and, and data data control as well.